So we talked about kind of one silver light and how we're enabling a common programming model uh, and a set of tools that allow you to target multiple devices, uh, the desktop, the phone, um, and elsewhere. And to talk about what this means uh, from a business perspective and what kind of applications this allows you to do, uh, I'd like to invite Loic from Seismic on stage uh, to show off some of the cool things he's doing. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? My name is Loic. I'm the founder of Seismic. And the problem we're solving is very simple. To share with all your friends, you have to go to very different social networks, Facebook, Twitter, hundreds of them. And you have to then gather all the feedback, all the comments from all of those different places. So we're bringing everything into one screen, on, actually on every screen. So I'm really happy that Scott is solving the, uh, all the screens problem, while we are concentrating on the thousands of uh, services which are around those social networks. And you all, all have your uh, favorite. So what we, what we created is a platform, which I would like to uh, show you today. It's a Seismic Desktop, uh, but, and it looks really the same as, uh, as what you might be familiar with, but this is entirely different behind the hood. It's a Silverlight platform which runs entirely on plugins, and we tried to uh, make it really, really as open as we could. In fact, all the services you can see here, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, are all plugins themselves. So let me show you how it works. If you go to settings, and now you have plugins, you can see that Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, the three main social networks, are here embedded as plugins themselves. In fact, you could rewrite the way we integrated Twitter in Seismic Desktop yourself if you don't like it. You can entirely rewrite it. So we integrated a few of them, obviously, which we, uh, we, which we, we ship at launch, like TweetPhoto, which lets you uh, uh, send media to, uh, to uh, photos and, and, and videos soon, and, um, and uh, other services. So if I show you around, see here, obviously, the Composer. Now if I post something, uh, platform.seismic.com, see this link, I type a space, it will shrink it. If you don't like that service, Bitly, which is integrated, you can build your own and change the URL shortener. No problem, it's a plugin. You can, uh, let me post this actually. You can um, uh, change the tabs, you can integrate uh, pretty much anything. So let me show you how we actually integrated the service right into the timeline itself of a tweet. Um, so here is a location, which is very trendy plugin which is uh, Bing Maps. And here, it's, it's a Silverlight plugin where you can control right there within the timeline the location of that user. And obviously, you can create anything you like. So filters, you name it. I mean, there are so many developers having crazy ideas. There is even a scale that you can you know, measure your weight. It will tweet how fat you get or not. And uh, so if you want a timeline with that and a plugin, you can, you can build it in, inside. Um, here's another one. You can control all the tabs here on the left uh, with, uh, with the plugins. You can control the search. You can change the search engine if you want to build your own and remove, uh, for whatever reason, search.twitter.com right there. You can change it on the top right. But here, we, what we did was we also wanted you to be able to change the UI itself. So obviously, simple. You can change colors. Uh, and you can also upgrade, upload any background you like and change the entire UI of the application. So think about, for example, if you are uh, Netflix and you want to create a Netflix client, you can do the branding, you can do the plugin architecture, even remove Facebook and Twitter if you don't want it, and entirely customize it. Um, and uh, we, you could even build a shop, like, for example, Amazon could do a deals timeline within Seismic. And then you could buy right from there, or Zappos, or any shop. So we're actually driving traffic to you. You can create a plugin, and if you click, we'll get you traffic, our users, and also uh, revenue. You can actually do a transaction right in there. So we built, um, we built this um, Seismic platform on Windows initially, and we were so impressed by how Silverlight 4 was that we decided to port everything to Silverlight with uh, very minimum work, like 90% of the code was uh, reused. And we thought, but what would be cool for the developers integrating into Seismic would be if they could also do it on the Mac. So let me show you Seismic Desktop on the Mac. Here it is, right there, and it's exact same code. 100% of the code is there with uh, great performance and uh, 
if you build a plugin, it will work on Windows and it will work on Mac. Now, um, it's Windows Phone Day, and um, what, uh, <laughs> what Scott said is that he, he wrote in front of you a Twitter client, the first Twitter client, and I actually disagree that it's a real Twitter client. So I thought, you know, as a challenge, we, we would do also our Twitter client. So let me <laughs> show you what I think is the first real Scott Twitter client, which is Sysmic <laughs> for the Windows phone. So as you expect, you can, you know, browse your timelines, you can uh, see your uh, replies, and um, access the, <laughs> well, all right, the reply from Marco Epic that it took, and uh, the media resolves in there, and uh, you can also see the profile of the user himself. So this is Marco, who is behind our uh, platform, and you can, if you notice, the background of Marco, which is loading on the Windows phone, is his, is his Twitter background, so we load it, and it will change for everybody, obviously. So now, if I uh, go back here, and I can see, uh, a, who is around me. So now this is show you a Bing Maps plugin on Sysmic Desktop. Here is the same plugin, here is the same service now on Windows Phone. And I can tap on a tweet and see who has uh, tweeted what. Of course, I can tweet as well. It supports location, image posting. I mean, it's a Twitter client, and we are very committed to the Windows Phone. What's great for us, really, is that the code that we use here is the majority is the same as the code we used for Sysmic Desktop. And that's a big deal for us because we had uh, a number of other mobile clients. We always started from scratch, not here. So uh, we, would like to, uh, we would love to see your ideas and how you see your plugins, and we would love to uh, see hundreds of them and, uh, and, and, see, uh, and, and uh, make the platform as customizable and open as possible. So we would like to invite you to uh, sign up to platform.sysmic.com and join us tomorrow at 5.30 if you feel like we have a session and we hope to see all your services integrated. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank you, Scott. <laughs> That was definitely the first real Twitter app uh, that, um, uh, for Windows Phone and, and uh, a, a great story in terms of, kind of how you can run uh, your code everywhere.